Hey guys, how are we all? So today on my vlog, I wanted to talk about yesterday's video, which was episode 120, where I went out, rode my bike, and I crashed it. So I came slipping off on a corner. If you want to go back and watch it, that's all good, you know, views, views, happy days. <laughs> but today I wanted to talk about how progressively, how quickly such just kind of what I felt like was a little fall off got pretty bad pretty quickly you know so I didn't mention it yesterday but when I did actually come off my bike I must have been doing like 20 25 miles an hour so I I hit the ground and I felt it but I just carried on riding went through the bike was okay I started to ease up so I thought that'll be all right but little did I know that was gonna get a lot worse later so first things first let's talk about where it kind of started so as you can see Here's a video clip here of me talking about, you know, what, what I'd injured. And this was probably about two or three hours after. I've done my arm a little bit. And uh, my leg is uh, pretty grazed on the back. Uh, just down there. But, honestly, got off really lightly. Then it went on to later in the evening. And you can see the bruise starts to come out just slightly. At this point, it was hurting, like not ridiculously, but every time I wanted to move and shift about on the sofa, that was really painful. I couldn't put any pressure on it. And I, I felt it getting more and more swollen because I hadn't actually really grazed the skin so much. My lycra wasn't ripped or anything. It had literally just been a real deep impact in, into my leg. So now you can see throughout the night, I started getting quite a bit of pain and it started to look really, really bad. So take a look at this photo. At this point, I am in sheer agony. Like the pressure has built up so much. It looks like I've got another ass cheek. It was so, so painful. And I was saying to Bryony, I, I don't know what to do, you know, so I'm taking ibuprofen, you know, to try and relieve some of the swelling, but it just keeps building up to the point of where it feels like, you know, like, like you're pressing on like a fully inflated tire. It was just so much pressure. And it wasn't a case of like, if I was still, the pain would go away. It was just throbbing. It just felt so awful. So it must have been about midnight and I woke Bryony up and said, I think you're gonna have to take me to A&E. And she was like, really? And I said, it, it's just too much. And I got up, uh, put some pressure on my leg and it was just, oh, it's just killing me. So I just, I said, I, I can't do this. You know, I just can't. I wanted to cry. I was in so much pain. So literally uh, we went to A&E. Hey guys, so how are we doing? Um, just left A&E. So my last vlog, I fell off my bike and literally uh, my, my leg has just got so, so bad. And it's just literally swollen up. It looks terrible and I was in so much pain in bed. I just said to Brian, oh, you've got to take me to a &E or something because this just hurts too much. So I've come down to a &E. I have a really large hematopa. And the first thing they said, the triage nurse said to me, you know, how do you feel? And I said, I'm just, this hurts so much. And I showed her the bruise, which was just huge at this point. And she said to me, wow, that's a really big uh, hematoma, uh, basically where you've had a big impact and where all the blood is pooling with fluid to kind of where you've probably broken a vessel or something like this. And she goes, wow, that's, that's big. And I said, yeah, I know. And she just goes, God, how do you feel? I've got three kind of levels of cocodamol I can give you, a uh, small, medium or large, and I'm like, large just just give me everything you've got please you know just help me out here so literally like i had that start to feel a little bit better and very quickly like credit to the hospital straight to see a doctor and the doctor said wow like that is huge you know how do you how do you feel and i was like it just hurts so much and he said okay okay he said well you know we're not gonna drain it we're not gonna do anything like that we're just gonna kind of leave it as it is, you need to keep walking, keep using the muscle there. Uh, the more you use the muscle, the more it's gonna, you know, compress itself. You know, you can need to take all the painkillers you need to, just keep mobile, keep active. Obviously, don't go out cycling, you know, for a few days at least, but just keep using it and it will ease up. And 
Today, uh, so got home, I stayed up for a bit because I couldn't sleep, terrible night's sleep. And then today, it, it looks a little bit better. I've been walking quite a lot, just doing stuff around the house. And you can see it's gone down a bit, still, still quite swollen. I can still feel it now, but it does feel a lot softer. So it does feel like the process getting there, but I cannot believe how aggressive that got from 24 hours on. It was just ridiculous, it hurt so, so much. Uh, tomorrow, I'm hoping that a lot more of the swelling is gonna go down. I'm hoping maybe by the weekend, I'll be able to ride a bike or just do some normal life stuff as we are in lockdown. Luckily, it's come at a time when I I'm not really working. So, you know, that is what it is. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not been ideal. I had so much response off my social media today when I put some pictures up. Uh, I can't thank everyone enough for, you know, having a bit of concern for me. It's really nice. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's crazy. Like, I cannot believe how much that got under my skin. Uh, still not in the clear. The doctor was really honest in saying if, if you start to feel really poorly, then it could have got infected. So I doubt that's happened because it is healing up really quickly. But yeah, how, how much does that suck? It really, really hurt. I can honestly say I, I'm not sure that I could ever want to go through that again. Like last night was just ridiculous. But anyway, guys, hopefully I can do some, uh, do some riding soon. I really want to do the 10 mile uh, the old Persian. I've just checked my uh, Richie over and uh, that's that's not any issues. Literally, I've just scraped the pedal a lot, you know. I'm gonna ride a little bit more cautiously in the future in winter. I guess I got a little bit carried away with the endorphins smashing out. But yeah, not ideal, not ideal anyway. But again, thank you guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know, the usual stuff. And you know, thank you for all the lovely messages. I can't, you know, thank you enough for real pick me up today.